My name is Ivy McIver, and this is why I fly. Oh my gosh, what is my favorite airplane? Well, my airplane is my favorite airplane because it's the one that I own. <laughs> I call her the Starling. It's a 2001 American Champion 7 GCBC. I got my license in 1997, so I guess it'd be about 25 years, which seems crazy, but when I was a little girl, I watched Top Gun, the first one. And I decided that I wanted to be a fighter pilot. And that was it, the, the seed was planted, and I just wanted to be a pilot no matter what. I did not, fun fact, become a fighter pilot. But I was a little too short to fly fighters. Then I wanted to be an airline pilot, and I kind of got steered away from that a little bit. I went to college for aeronautical engineering, realized that wasn't really my forte, ended up doing computer science, and through that, I ended up having aviation as more of my hobby than my career. I wasn't flying as much as I really wanted to. I went back to school to be a flight instructor, and at the time, I was a salesperson, and so I was selling software, but also learning how to be a flight instructor and the way the world works is magical. Sirius Aircraft is looking for regional sales directors and they were looking for people who had a sales background and also had an aviation background. And I just decided, forget it, I will just pack everything I own in a 95 Honda Civic and drive west. And 16 and a half years later, I've been working at Sirius in a multitude of different roles. For nine years, I was a salesperson. And then uh, for the last seven years, uh, I've been on the marketing side. If you looked at the job description, my role is to basically be a liaison between the sales and marketing team and the engineering team, largely driven towards creating the product roadmap for the Sirius Piston. But my job involves a lot of other things like working with strategic suppliers, working with media contacts, and uh, of course doing a lot of demo flying and photo flying. Formation flying is one of my absolute favorite parts of my job. There's definitely a lot involved. Most of the hard part about formation flying happens on the ground. Once you're up in the air, it's really just sort of a feeling and a focus. But really on the ground, it's briefing all of the safety procedures, making sure that everyone is aligned with frequencies and procedures and the plan. And then it's really about going out and executing that plan. And photo flight check in. Two. It's also about trusting the other people that you're flying with and not being afraid to knock it off or basically call off the photo shoot if something doesn't look right or you're not feeling great about something. How's the uh, power setting, Ivy? It's perfect. All right. It's a really super unique industry and really small niche of society where there's just a lot of magic that happens.